friends. I'm so glad to see you again. Today I'm going to be reading you a story called The Dot. But before we start reading, I want to think about the parts of a book. The first part is this part's called the cover. It's where the author or the illustrator decide on what to put on the front of the book. This part is called the spine, where all the pages are kept together. This is the back of the book. And then there's some other things we should think about too. The author of this book is right here, Peter H. Reynolds. And this book is special because he is also the illustrator. This page is called the title page. So now I'm going to start reading the dot. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. How do you think Vashti's feeling right now? I think she's feeling very sad and maybe a little bit frustrated. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good strong jab. There. And this is her giving the paper a good strong jab. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, now write your name on it. Because artists always sign their work. Vashti thought for a moment, well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. And she began to write her name in this picture. The next week, when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Here's Vashti's dot framed. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. What do you think she's going to do? Do you think she's going to make a lot of drawings? Will she make dots? Will she make other sheets? Let's see. Vashti painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, and a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow, she discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting, lots and lots of dots in so many different colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Look at this big dot she's making up here. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. So she painted around a circle to make a circle. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Look at all of her different dots that are hung up on the wall for everybody to see. She seems really proud of her art. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think she's going to say? Do you think she's going to help the little boy? Vashti smiled. He handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. So she had the draw boy draw a line. Vashti stared at the boy squiggle, and then she said, Please write your name on it. And that's the end. So today, when you're thinking about things that might be hard for you, think about that you can with little steps. And I challenge you to make your own dot. So for today's art project, I want you to try to make your own dot in whatever way you want to. You could color, you could paint, you could make a collage dot. 
and I hope that you feel a little bit inspired by the dot. See you guys later!